Alrighty, what is up guys? Um, so today I'm going to actually bring you guys a, uh, a video on how to set up and calibrate your Fnatic Will. Now, one of the things that a lot of, I, I don't know of a lot of people, but I have read up on some forums where people were having issues with calibrating the Will or knowing how to calibrate it or set this Will up. So, um, <clears throat> first thing we're going to go through is... is if you guys have the quick guide and the other quick guide the base quick guide and the steering wheel quick guide these are a little dirty now each wheel is going to be a little bit different on the calibration but they're pretty much all do the similar concepts so just make sure you have one of these in hand to know the button layout you need or if you don't have one of these you're going to uh, have to go onto the Fnatic website and you can actually get one of these through a PDF. So, you know, I'd set this down aside. And now you're also going to need to download the firmware for your wheel setup. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the page for that one. And this is going to be the CSL. If you had a CSW, you would download the CSW one or well, the Club Sport. So, let me go ahead and pull that up. So, we're going to go to products, wheel bases. I'm on the CSL Elite. So we're going to click on that one. Then you're going to go to Downloads. And you'll download the Fnatic Driver, whichever bit resolution you have. Or bit, sorry. And you're going to, uh, if you don't have the Quick Guide or Manual, you can get it here. This will come as a, uh, a, uh, a zip folder. So you're going to need like WinRAR or whatnot to download it or to extract it. So let's go ahead and exit back to my menu here. And when you get it, it should be this right here. It's the Fnatic Wheel property page. <clears throat> You're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now your wheel should be set up. Everything should be plugged in properly. You can go ahead and cut it on and let it do its little cut on calibration at startup calibration. And now the wheel is done calibrating after the lights cut off. Now for this wheel, it is a um, it boots up in Xbox mode because this is Xbox One as well. So as you can see, the lights on and it's green light back here. Um, now I'm pretty sure each wheel is different in a way. They're probably similar if they're for the Xbox layout, but if the PC only, then probably not. Essentially, for this wheel, the P1, you're going to hit the uh, Xbox menu and Y and this will switch it over to PC mode. Now, as you can see on my computer it popped up a Fnatic CSL Elite Will Base. Now you're going to click on properties and as you can see it's going to show the Will Base. Uh, this is a good time to make sure everything works so push down your throttle and now push it again and now you can see it's kind of calibrated the throttle push the brake all the way in, pull it out, and now you can see it's kind of calibrated the brake. And then clutch. And if you have a handbrake, you can do that as well. And same, the shifter can wait for now. Now you're going to go to update, and you're going to update uh, CSL uh, wheel base firmware. And that's a quick update, really just click next, next, and install. It's very quick and simple. But one thing about when you install it, I'm not going to install it because I already have done this. But when you do it, your wheel will possibly be like this when it's done uh, firmware updating. And the wheel's actually going to stay like this. This is the zero uh, like center for the wheel after you do the update. Once you do the update, it's also going to tell you you're going to need to recalibrate your wheel and your shifter. Now, my shifter's probably out of sight because it's really low mounted. So if you can't see that... Uh, my bad on that but we can roll with it anyway <clears throat> now for the wheel being stuck at an angle like this to fix this after the firmware is updated and it tells you need to recalibrate it you can go ahead and exit out of the firmware page and you can just sit back at the functions page here now like I said each wheel the button layouts a little bit different but they sh they're all similar concepts so you're gonna grab your quick guide 
and you're going to find the wheel calibration which is right here center calibration now for this uh, your calibration you're going to need to uh, hit the uh, tools menu or your well, your fanatic menu which is this little button here and when you turn it you're going to hit the menu Xbox I think this is the back button and a so essentially you're going to do this your wheel stuck at an angle every time you cut it on it goes to this angle here you're gonna hit the tuning menu lights gonna come on it says s it should say s1 but mine says s2 because I'm in a uh, second this is like your uh, profile numbers <laughs> and now you're going to turn the wheel how you want it so we're going to center it out which this looks about center here and you're going to hit this which is the Xbox back button and a and you'll feel the motor itself move and shift back you may not but use the calibration menu up on your computer just to make sure it says it's zeroed out so it's zero this is now center now so from here it should boot up from now on as this being the center point this is now straight up and down it'll now rotate perfectly fine this you'll have to do after probably every firmware update which is not a big deal it's really quick and easy the shifter is a little bit on the trickier side now I don't remember if this says how to do shifter does it yes shifter calibration <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> now for shifter calibration you're gonna want to press the menu button and pull up your menu so you're gonna press it pull it back up to where it says S1 or S2 and you're gonna hit the Xbox little menu thingy here or back button and the uh, tools icon and it's gonna say 6N at the top I hope my GoPro picks this up kinda decently now essentially this is wanting you to put it in neutral so you're gonna put your shifter in neutral mine's in neutral now you're gonna hit the tools icon again or sorry you're gonna hit the tools and the back button icon now it wants you to put it in reverse so you're gonna swipe it in reverse real quick now you're gonna hit it again once it first gear and essentially you're gonna do this through every gear first second third fourth fifth sixth and now it wants a seventh gear but I do not have a seventh so you can just go ahead and hit it again and now your shifters calibrated and as you can see it does perfectly fine on the little menu up here I don't have a sequential so we're not gonna worry about that well I do have a sequential but it's not hooked up so we're not gonna worry about that one and now essentially your fanatic is in working order you can turn it off and then turn it back on and it should calibrate directly into the center it's a very easy calibration setup the only thing people have issues with is usually just knowing how to do it their instructions are just pretty brief on here uh, to enter shifter calibration mode simultaneously press the two buttons it doesn't really explain that you have to put it in the gear hit it again hit it again you know just keep putting it in each gear it tells you to it's it's pretty brief on that even with their center calibration uh, you, it doesn't say you need to center the wheel out before you actually hit the buttons a lot of people get confused with that so hopefully I can help you guys a little bit on there to get a brief explanation on how to calibrate it it's really straightforward so I hope you guys have a great day and I will probably make a video drifting with this later. I have work today, but I'll make one later tonight or something. And I'll see you guys later.